In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take one of our course books or your own script, plus a slideshow like one of our slideshows, and combine them to create a video, but in a really easy way by creating the audio separately, either by recording yourself or by using an AI tool to generate that audio from a script, from some text. Let me just hop over to my screen and show you exactly what I mean. Here I have one of our slideshows open. This is from Authentic Marketing Strategies. And I've just pulled out a few slides just from the beginning. You would wanna edit it, put in your own logo, take out this one, maybe use their design tab to create some other design ideas. It will sometimes suggest things, sometimes not. That one doesn't have suggestions, so I just put my logo in. I'll just leave it with the logo here for now and go through and make any other changes you want. Here it's got some design ideas there. It's given some more design ideas. Uh, let's see, nothing particularly interesting here, except maybe the exact same. And you can edit any of those and just go through and make any changes that you want. And then when you're all set with any changes that you want, make sure you have it saved. Make sure you save it under your own file name for that particular course. You would want to save it based on the name of the module. All right, so you have your file ready, all your slides. Now you need to get your audio together. For that, I'm going to use the course book that goes along with that particular module. And I'm just going to pull out the text for the introduction. I would copy all the text in there. I'm going to go through to the very end. And then I'm going to paste that into a text document where I would then edit it to sound like any sort of extra things I would want in the course. You can record yourself speaking first, and I'll show you how to do that, and then switch over to the audio file, or you can just use an audio file directly. And here's everything in there. I've changed a few little things, like I changed it to here's your roadmap. I said, once you're clear about what you want this course to deliver, you can move on. So things like that, that are specific to yours. Then again, I'm going to create my audio file with someone else speaking it using some AI. I would copy that. And there are two options I'm gonna show you. The paid option, is using 11 labs so you can create a free account to play with that it's 11 labs.io and you use their speech function here i've already pasted some of it into their speech function of text to speech you pick somebody's name so you can play around with different sounds this one is matilda ideas are the beginning points of all four and you can adjust on the right the style exaggeration to make it more energetic and then generate speech. So here's what that sounds like. And Authenticity in marketing isn't just a catchphrase that's thrown around. So there you can hear the style exaggeration. And then when you're done, you download and have your audio file ready to insert at the appropriate place in your PowerPoint presentation. But if you don't want to do that and you just want to use a free option to play around with it or you're just cutting costs and corners here for something short, you can use the few voices in ChatGPT and have it read it aloud and you record it in Audacity. So let's see how you can record that in Audacity with ChatGPT's read aloud. I've gone in and I've created a prompt that says, copy this text exactly as is without changing anything pasted in all my text of my script, and it spit it right back out at me without any extras. If it does have any extras, when you have it read aloud and record it, you can edit those out. And you'll see how I can press read aloud. Authenticity in marketing isn't just a- And there are a few voices that you can pick in your settings. So if you're a man, you might wanna go into speech, and I have Juniper, but maybe you'd want Cove for instance, and you can play. Hi there, I just wanna share how thrilled I am to work. So that's what she, he would sound like. And there are a couple others. Hopefully there'll be more in the future. I'm gonna leave it as Juniper. And now I need to record that speaking out loud. So I'm gonna open up Audacity, which is a free program, and I'm gonna record that speaking out loud. To make sure you don't have an echo through your speakers, 
you need to go into audio setup, then into recording device and pick your speakers. I have a few in here. I'm picking my main ones. You want the main ones that you use. Then you click record and read aloud. You may have to refresh your chat GPT to make sure it doesn't get stuck. Authenticity in marketing isn't just a catchphrase that's thrown around when talking about business strategy. It's a commitment to your value. So you can hear that was reading out loud. And if we go over to Audacity, you'll see it's still recording, but I need to press stop. And it's only recording the system audio. So it wouldn't have been recording anything that I'm saying now as I speak to you because it's only recording what's in the system, not the microphone. Let's see what that sounds like. So there's a section in the beginning where I was just getting started. I would want to delete that first. I can just move it right over there so I can see what I'm doing. And I want to highlight, you get the little bar there. I'm going to highlight all that stuff in the beginning where I wasn't saying anything and just delete it. And then you can do any other editing noise reduction as you please. So let's see what it sounds like. Authenticity in marketing isn't just a catchphrase that's thrown around when talking. Now we have our audio file. I also recorded a full one separately so that you can see it when I do that demo. And then you go into file and export audio, pick your format. You want to export to the computer. You will either do it as an MP3 or as a WAV. WAV is a Microsoft format, so you can use it with PowerPoint and sometimes it's better, but it's a much bigger file. You would need to compress it in something like Handbrake, but otherwise you would just pick the MP3 for conciseness. And then you have your audio file and you're ready to insert it into your PowerPoint presentation. Now I'm going to show you how I can speak in the beginning here with the first couple slides and then just have that audio start here on this third slide. I'm going to go over and grab my file. I have my demo file that I did. I called it demo chat GPT. I'm just going to drag and drop it onto that slide, move it out of the way, even though we're going to hide it. And then you go into playback and you want to have it start automatically when you start that slide as you're recording your timings and you want it to play across all slides and hide it during the show. That's all you have to do. And then when we get to recording it, we'll be ready to go. You might want to add some transitions here, like that, like a fade in here. I've already applied a fade and applied it to all slides, just little things like that. Again, that's, also things you can do afterwards once you've set your timings. But let's now record this slideshow. I'm going to go into record and I'm going to record from the beginning. It's going to open it up the full screen. I have two monitors, so it has my presentation notes on the other slide. Now don't worry about having this in front of you because what PowerPoint is doing is recording the audio and the timings for each slide. It's not creating the video here. You're going to export it. It's not recording your screen. All the visuals are on the slides unless you have your camera on. So when you start, if you want to have yourself recording and you're on camera, you need to have your microphone on and you need to have your camera on. So if I turn my camera on here, I use a Logitech C920 camera in this case, and there are controls where you can just zoom in and out. But that's the sort of thing you can set up in advance also. I would have that there and then I make sure my microphone's on and I would hit record and start talking. I'm going to do that now and show you what I mean because when I get to the slide where I want my actual audio file to play, I have to stop before that. All right. This is really important. Stop before you get to that slide. So let's do it. Gives you the warning. I'll say, welcome to Authentic Marketing Strategies, how to build genuine audience connections and lasting customer loyalty. In this first module in the course, I'm going to be introducing you to what you're going to be learning and giving you a first couple of action steps. Now notice I'm ready to go to the next slide on the lower left here. I click 
ahead, it advances me to the next slide. Introduction, here's what we're going to talk about, you know, what any other housekeeping or slides you have in there, I would be then saying. Now, important, before I go to this next slide where the audio starts, I need to stop the recording. All right, now everything I just said would be <laughs> recorded in the audio in the slides. You can always edit stuff afterwards in a program like Descript, which is very, very easy to use. But in this case, you already have your audio file. This is just extra. So before I move to that, I need to turn off my microphone. And then I'm going to advance to the next slide. It's not going to do anything yet until I click record. So the microphone's off. The camera went off automatically when I got to that. And I'm going to click record and that audio should start playing. Authenticity in marketing isn't just a catchphrase that's thrown around when talking about business strategy. Now, I would have let it run through and just recorded everything. I have the text here just because it's underneath each one of the slides. In our courses, we do take the course book content and put it under each slide so you could follow along if you've recorded everything. Otherwise, you can just pull up your text document that you have with all your notes, your script, and keep track of that as you're going from slide to slide. But if it's there, then you have it ready to go. You're all done. You've recorded all the audio and timing for your slides. You click export, and then you're going to export the video. Pick the place that you want to have it. I'm not going to replace what I already recorded because I did a demo for you already but you can browse, find your location and record it. I'm just going to exit here and show you a couple things. Firstly, I can export to video here. So I didn't have to do it there. It's recorded all my timings and, and other things on those particular slides that I did. It, you can see my camera in the beginning and then there's audio on all the different slides. If I were to actually preview it, you could see what the video will look like. You this is how you can what you're see what you already you did part, and then you can export the video from here. You can make design changes before you export, say you want to change the color, anything else. If you do make any changes to the slides afterwards, you can export them as well. So that is everything. Now remember, if you generated the audio with 11 labs, you don't have to go through those steps with Audacity unless you want to record say your own voice, but even with 11 labs, if you have a paid account, you can create an artificial version of your own voice. It may not really be perfect, but it's getting better all the time. Otherwise you can use that read aloud version as well. So you'll end up with a final video that looks a little bit like this. I did a practice one the other day. I'll just show you the bit where I went from the introduction to over to the other file on to the next one. All right, so let's move on now. Authenticity in marketing isn't just... And it went all the way through to the end where I had the action steps. Since you're clear about what you want this course to deliver, you can move on to module one. So that was with the ChatGPT voice, which is not bad. It's not as good as what you'll get in 11 labs, but it's actually pretty good. And it's a good way to get started if you don't want to start paying yet for the 11 labs and doing that. But remember, you can do that in Audacity. And just remember that before you start doing the read aloud, if you're just recording ChatGPT reading aloud, you need to make sure that you're only recording the speakers and not your microphone or you'll get an echo. Hopefully that was all clear and helpful and it gives you a way to quickly put together a video using PowerPoint and an audio file, which you can create in those different ways, such as 11 labs or recording ChatGPT reading aloud and then generating your video. So go ahead and get started and let me know how it goes.